Guys, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Notion to set up for project management. So basically, there are three items that you will use. One is a product, uh, is a project document. Um, the second is a Gantt chart, and the third is the board for work management. Okay. So first of all, uh, in order to create a project, you click on add a page. Um, here I've already created a new page and I'm going to name this project Operation Management Group 1. Okay, for the first agenda, which is to create a project document, I simply uh, type slash and click on page. And I'm going to name this project document. And this is the, play, uh, the place where you will store major documents, such as project report, um, your dashboard, and relevant files like uh, PowerPoint or Excel. So for example, I could have a smaller page here dedicated for project report and on the outside I could um, add a section for files including uh, Excel and PowerPoint okay so that is the first item. The next item is a Gantt chart. Now, in order to create a Gantt chart, you also type slash and you search for the keyword table. Under the category database, you click on table view. Then choose new database. Great, you have created a table. Let's name this table tasks. So basically, this table will be uh, the list of your tasks. Now, this table um, by default has two fields, the name and the tax. Uh, because I not, I'm not going to need this field, so I'm just going to delete it. OK, I'm going to add some few tasks. For example, um, create or jar add new lines So um, here I have six tasks, and now I'm going to create uh, a new field, and I'm going to name this timeline. In terms of type, I'm going to change this from text to date and X. OK, so now we will create a Gantt chart. To do that, click on this plus button next to the table and choose timeline then click on show table and done X okay um, before we create um, the timeline for each task you can see that um, they have been mixed up a little bit so you can reorder them the way you want. For example, I'm going to put this over here. Okay, it seems about right. And now I will assign each task 
uh, a certain timeline. For example, if I uh, I want to do the org grid from August 18 to August 22 to August 22nd, I'm gonna drag it over here. Or if this task takes longer than um, a week, I'm gonna drag it over here to change uh, the timeline. And the same things go for uh, other tasks below. Okay, so if you want to add new items, you simply click on new. And for example, I need to create a dashboard, so I'm going to type in create dashboard and assign a timeline for it as well. Okay, so based on this Gantt chart that I have created, I can see that um, this Operation Group 1 project of mine will last from August 18th till September 30th which is uh, nearly two months okay so that is the uh, that is the second item on the list and the third is an extra uh, I would like to share with you so besides the Gantt chart uh, you would like to have uh, a platform where you can manage uh, the work in detail and collaborate with each other. Um, to do that, click on this plus button right here and this time choose board. Click done and there you go. What board will do is that it will group your tasks based on the status. And typically, there are three there are three statuses for a task. Um, it is to do, doing, and done. So right now, my tasks have no status, so it will be grouped uh, under a column called no status. So right now, I'm 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 going to create new status for them. Okay. And I will migrate all of the tasks to to do. I'm gonna hide this thing. So, the job of a project manager is to control the flow of the tasks from to do to doing and to done. Uh, but before we move the tasks between the column, uh, as the project manager, I would like to assign each task to a specific person. And that person will be in charge of finishing this task. So, for example, if I click on create dashboard, uh, I can add another property that is called person in charge. Okay? And I could type in Patrick. back in here so as you can see that um, uh, this create dashboard task is assigned to a person named Patrick but it doesn't show on the card so to show a property uh, on the card you go ahead and click on the um, the triple dot button and click on properties as you can see here the only property is shown is name so I would like to also show the person in charge. So I will move it from the hidden in board to show in board and it will be shown in board. Uh, I would also like to see that um, the timeline of a task. So maybe I should uh, drag this timeline from hidden to shown as well. Great. Or, you know, maybe not. It, I can see the timeline over here. Okay. And the same thing goes for other tasks. I'm gonna uh, make another example. 
This one goes to Alice. And this one goes to Tom. So my job as a project manager is to look on the timeline and see which task needs to be finished first. And I will drag the task from the to-do uh, column to the doing column. So you can see that here we have the create work grid. Um, this task will be kickstart tomorrow. So I will move the create work grid from the, from the to-do column to the doing column. And I will assign this thing to maybe um, Timmy. So until every task are moved from to do, doing, and done, uh, I will keep supervising the flow of the tasks. So that is my job as the project manager. So what about uh, the project team members? Well, if you have to do something, if you have to collaborate, you simply click on these tasks and you can um, insert anything you want, maybe some notes or or comments to a team member. So for example, um, okay. And specifically for the purpose of creating an org grid, you can insert a table in here. Uh, but this time choose a table, a simple table. First is the list of departments, and then uh, the roles, KPIs, and person in charge. Okay. I'm going to delete this row. Okay, and here I can list uh, all of the departments. For example, sales, marketing, finance etc. So yeah, um, I'm sure you get the idea. So we have three items, a project document for summarizing uh, the project, a Gantt chart to manage timeline and schedule, and a board for work management where team members can collaborate and project managers can supervise the progress of the work. Um, I'm sure that uh, you will find these three tools useful in managing this project of yours. So best of luck.